Hey guys, Mark Galloway here. So, um, it's been a while since I made my last cooking video. Well, I'm pretty sure the last one I made was when I was making an attempt to make the bird, to remake the Burger King Mac and Cheetos. So, didn't turn out as good as I hoped it would be. It was still pretty delicious though, but now we're gonna do something, do something new. This is something I found on the internet recently like about two days ago. This is the, the tater tot grilled cheese. So we have a waffle maker, we have a bag of tater tots, we have bacon, we have a jalapeno, and we also have cheddar cheese. So what we're gonna do first is that what you're gonna do, you're gonna take, um, you're gonna take like, um, if you have like a big bag of tater tots, you would just use, I, I don't know about how much, about half of the bag or something. But what we're we're gonna take it easy. So what because so what we're gonna do first is that if you want to, you can either microwave or defrost all your tater tots. But to make it easy for me, we're just gonna defrost it because like um, if you just defrost it and as long as they're just soft, they're gonna smush into the waffle maker, and then as they're cooking, they're gonna grill and get golden. And then after that, we're just gonna put it on the plate. And then after the second the second layer is done. We're just gonna leave it on there, put out all the ingredients, and then, and then we're just gonna let it grill, and then it's gonna be done. So let's get this recipe started. So, okay, so we're gonna start it just pretty simple, with just um, with just that. We're gonna start with the jalapeno. Just start with the slices. So you just wanna get rid of the end, get rid of the ends, put that, throw those away, and then what you're gonna do is that you're gonna cut up, slot, dice, the dice. After d dice, dice, and you just want to like keep doing that until you have like about little bits. All right, go this way. If you want to, you can also like peel them. All right, but actually, what what I'm doing is that you're making them right now into little cubes. I think I might have also forgotten that you might want to get rid of the seeds. But I think what you can do is that if you could put them into a drainage pot or something, you could just like swirl them around and then the seeds will be gone. So there we are. We ha so I'm gonna have so I have most of the jalapenos all tinied up. I'm just gonna get rid of these real quick. There we have our jalapenos. So let me just drain those out a little bit. Drill well, just get rid of the seeds. Okay, the potatoes have been the tater tots have been busted. So now we're gonna add our bacon so we're gonna add just about like five slices of bacon it's all gonna shrink as you all know when it's cooked probably gonna lead off the cleaning this one's ruined but we'll go with it all right Maybe we'll do four. Okay, now we're gonna preheat the waffle maker and then and then we're gonna let these uh, settle and cook. We're gonna actually we're gonna let the bacon bacon uh, cook first, and then after they're and then after they're all heated up, we're gonna get. All right, so we have the, all the tater tots defrosted. Bacon is finishing up, so now we're gonna put the first batch of tater tots in it, depending on how much they're is gonna fit. So I'm reacting up like a grill. All right, we're only going to do two squares because this is like way too big to fit like all of them. Well, there, we still have like plenty of more actually left. All 
All right. So, like it what? Okay, so it when I, by the time I shot this, it, the light wasn't preheated, but I did see underneath a little bit that it's golden brown. So let's see the status. That is pretty good. All right, we're gonna leave it in there for a couple more minutes so it's completely solid and we can put it on the plate before we add in the second batch. So batch number one is done. So now we're gonna add batch number two. So batch number two is going to stay even stay in its place even when even when it's all done and you know all you know toasted all brown and gold so when it, <coughs> excuse me so when this one is all done we're going to put we're going to put the ingredients on and then we're going to put the other batch back on and we're going to let that grill until it's all till it's all well till the cheese is all melted and then until everything is all done and then and then Okay, so now we have the second batch all done. So now it's time to add our ingredients. First we add our first batch of cheese. Put that all over. Alright, and now we're going to add just a little bit of jalapeno, like just do one piece a little bit. We're not going to add too much since it's like hot stuff, you know, almost like ghost chili. Finally, we add our bacon. Finally, cheese goes going on the top. Okay, so I just remembered that the time limit that you must do use for if you're gonna for cooking this uh, for this meal is five minutes so when you're finishing up the project after you put on the ingredients and put the layer back on let it uh, cook it in here for about five minutes and then it's gonna be all done and what I also remember seeing online in that video was that you can put the bacon on this on the sandwich raw but uh but I didn't really think it was gonna blend in with the bacon so um, I cooked it and then I put it on there but I think the bacon is still gonna be edible in there so if the bacon if the bacon is uh, a little burnt if this is, when this is all done then that's a lesson that you will learn but anyways let's take a look at the product looks so good alright you're gonna be unable to take off the top but it's still gonna have everything you want in it. Let's take it off and put it on the plate. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Take it off. Not sure how I'm gonna do it. I don't wanna break it. Boom. This is pretty challenging. Oh, there we go, on the plate. We're just gonna let it cool for a few minutes and then we're gonna try our first bite. Okay, so now we have the finished product tater tot, the tater tot uh, chicken sandwich, and chick grilled cheese. So, this is what we're gonna try a little bit of a piece of it. So, here we go. Hmm. Hot.
but well, not too hot, but oh my god, that's really good. The cheese, the bacon, oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Let's try a little more. Wow, that is so good. Mm. This thing is really good. Anyways, um, you can follow this video if you want to, but if you also want better instructions to make this sandwich, I'll, I'll leave the next video link in the description below that will also tell us the same video, but we'll just like um, help you with the instructions more properly probably than I did. If you want to, just check it out right here in the description below. But anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, share, leave a comment, like, and subscribe to this channel. I hope you like this video, guys. This is Mark Galloway, and this is me signing out. Thank you so much for watching, guys.